But and females, let me be real clear. Sometimes we as uh, uh, dudes or as cats can be kind of naive. But we've had some other conversations before. One time, Sam was part of one of them. Our ladies have intuition, and even though we may be homies with a certain female, they typically know when that female has other intentions for us. Even though we think we're we're just her friends and homies, right. she's, uh, our ladies will be like, uh uh-uh, uh, I see. Something else is going on here. She has other intentions. So I think it's important that we also listen to things like that. And I know some of you have dealt with things like that. I want to elaborate Mm -hmm. on that because Mm -hmm. female intuition has... Female intuition will have you guilty for some things you haven't done yet. Right. And I think that... Preach that shit, man. All right, go ahead. Go Please ahead. Go, 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 go. I, just, I just want to say that, but you go. No, with but it. I think that's yeah. the thing. Is it not naivete? Is it ignorance? Like, or is it that we're just so focused on our goals that we aren't willing to see the unseen? And I, and I ask this because I love that question. I lo- because my wife has come up in certain events and said something's not right about this, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I like. There is no way there's anything. But with me and where I'm at, I'm tunnel vision. I, sometimes I refer to myself as an ostrich. I get so focused, like I don't, I don't look up. I don't, I'm just on the grind, mm-hmm. focused on what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And I won't let others around me affect where I'm going or how I need Facts. to execute. Facts. But I'm also, I think the word is um, oblivious to certain gestures or suggestions. And that others, aka my wife, would pick up on. Mm-hmm. And so I'm I'm asking, like, how how much stock, there it is, how much stock are you investing in your wife's intuition or your partner's intuition? I, I I've learned my wife is majority right yeah, really. in those yeah. situations. But what majority. I subscribe to is a whole different thing. Like that. you just said, all your energy, all your focus, mm-hmm. your focus on your job. Right. Mm. You're focused on your family. Right. You're focused on your, your craft. I'm loyal. <laughs> that goes without loyal. saying. Okay. So whatever she's seen is irrelevant to me at the end of the day because I'm not even subscribing to that channel. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not even, that's is not even relevant? on my pick no, no, list. Yeah. What she, what you're saying, what yeah. your wife sees is irrelevant to you. Yeah, because yes. I'm not, because not to dis, not to disarm her or discredit her or dismiss her. I'm focused so why would that trip me up in the first place? I'm not spending time with that. I'm not going to that person's house. I'm not spending any energy. My, my focus is on where right. I'm focused. Right. So it has no effect. So what's, on that. what no, she's exactly. seen could be real, but doesn't mean that that's where my attention is. So for so for example, if Sam Sam is so focused on his job on what he's doing that this female coworker she might have a little crush on him or something, mm-hmm. and then his wife might say, you know that girl kind of dig you. Sam is saying, oh, is that why? Right? You, you're probably right. But I'm so tunnel vision, that frequency isn't even on my radar. Yeah. But that acknowledgement. So that doesn't matter. That yeah, acknowledgement that you're probably right doesn't make it irrelevant. It said, I've acknowledged it. You're probably right. He's aware of it, but not, his focus but is still good. He's not dismissing I'm not her. dismissing her. But a lot of times you have to understand women, intuition, or insecurities could be a mix of both. Mix of both. Because they may be gauging someone else because they they are size whatever, or they can wear those that dress better, or their hair is pretty, and they think that's what I might like that moment mm-hmm. in that environment. Mm-hmm. So your insecurity, I can't subscribe to that because I'm focused on the job at hand. I'm mm-hmm. focused on us. I'm loyal. All those things we talked about. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying she's wrong, but I'm right. saying. Do, do I want to put much energy into someone that might like me? What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? I hear that. No, people, hear that. people, <laughs> people like people all over. You're gonna see attractive people no matter where you no go in this world. You know. So if you subscribe to every narrative, oh as she you, thinks you're we'll cute. See. Oh and she's you, looking at we'll you, see. and you can't control that. Yeah, and 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 so I remember once upon a time when we first joined our church, there used to be a certain woman that used to stare at my wife all the time, and she was like, "Why is she staring at me?" She was insecure to thinking that her, whoever she was with might like the way my wife looked. That really? had nothing to do with her husband. That had nothing to do with the scenario at hand. Nothing's ever happened. But see, we can subscribe to that wrong channel because of what they feeling at the time. Mm. My and wife one, was running that too. Yeah, yes. so you can't, you can't paint. At the church. You can't spend <laughs> too much energy in that space right. because it's not healthy for anybody. But we now have I'm walking around on eggshells around this woman because my wife thinks you like me. And that's what problems sometimes. So that, that doesn't make any sense. 
is now a problem. Oh, yeah, okay. you're putting okay. energy towards it. Now I'm looking yes. at them different. Like, oh, maybe she do the way she, you know, bat her eyelash. Oh, I see it now. It maybe she has something in her eye. It would only become a problem if you allow it to, yeah. and if you subscribe to that frequency. If you, if you, not if you don't acknowledge it, but I'm saying if you, if you go, oh, that, is, oh, she do like me. Oh, well, shoot, how you doing? That's where the problem starts. Mm-hmm. The Hopefully. problem doesn't. So you just, if you put that to the side, I'm not even focus on that. I'm tunnel vision, baby. I'm focused on what I'm here to do. Mm-hmm. Period. And that goes back to your character. Hundred percent. It's really, it's really about your you character. at that moment. Because here's the thing. You no, know, I, I, I know you, you, you have, you have control over yourself, and that's it. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Agree. You don't so have I control. Can, I can't over, blame the. Na- my girl ain't got control over what I do or don't, and vice versa. I ain't mm-hmm. got control over what she does or doesn't. Who she is and who I am is that's our character. Right. Mm-hmm. So w- if we if I want to go out and sleep with a bunch of women, that's that's my character. Yeah, right. and so I have to deal with those consequences and vice versa. So instead of trying to control other people, because that's the problem, that's the control. problem that we have is control. We're trying to control something that we can't, and there there that's where anxiety comes from. Mm. That's where insecurities mm. come from. Yeah. That's where fear comes from. Trying to control something you can't. And that's why, what's the, what's the number one thing in the Bible that it says? Do not fear. Do not fear. And, and God has control. That's why he's saying, don't, don't, don't fear. Don't fear. Don't, I got you. And so that's why you'd have to tell our women, do not fear. I, I got, got you. I'm oh. here. Mm-hmm. Trust in my character. Yeah. Trust in my ability to be loyal. Trust in my ability to make good decisions. Mm-hmm. Because when you don't trust that, that's saying you don't trust me. You don't trust my ability to make good decisions. You don't trust my character. You don't trust my loyalty. And so you're trying to control it so that you don't get hurt. So you don't get bamboozled. So you don't feel like you're losing something. That's on you. And it's on us to be, remain loyal and all that stuff. I'm just saying when we try to control something that we can't, that's on us. And I, I would think from a, I would think yeah. from a different perspective. And too bad we don't have any females here. But I've, I've t- me and my wife had this. We just spoke about this the other day. She said it's not an issue with me trusting you. It has nothing to do. This part has nothing to do with you. My wife said I know how other women are. I know how they think, and I know what they, what what women do. She goes, I'm a woman. I know what women do. Right, she goes, the issue is not you. The issue is. Her. I, I, but and, I, I, well, hold on. I don't I have an issue with that. But go ahead, let him finish his point. And so they feel if it's not addressed, if this woman who has a crush on you or whatever situation is, even though you're not going to act or anything like that, they feel disrespected that the woman is still batting her eyes or doing whatever as a way to lure you, even though nothing's going to happen. Now, from a male perspective, it's an ego my, wife, stroke. my wife had a, a friend who was a homie who was the homie, and she'd known him for years. This cat, knowing we were together and everything, known him for years, he actually tried to pull something with my wife, and she didn't tell me for years. And I asked her. I was like, hey, whatever happened to such and such? What happened? And I knew she got kind of weird. She got kind of weird. And then she said, one day she said, you know, let me sit you down. Let me tell you what's going on. And she goes, the reason I didn't tell you, because I knew what you would have done. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said, I trust you. Yeah, there's no one. She goes, and I handled it. But I knew. If I would have told you it would have been all what would have happened, I said, it was probably right you didn't tell me because I would have heard him. Mm-hmm. And so it wasn't about me not trusting my wife or having any any kind of doubt in her. It was him. And he disrespected me in my own house. Mm-hmm. I get in it. In my own house. I and so it. that's where they're saying it from. It's not typically about us. It's about those who, who just just even the appearance of impropriety makes it mm-hmm. very, very... Uh, dangerous for them or they see it as a, as a big issue I think that's Go big ahead, man Sam. I think that's big I think the key thing is your wife handled it mm-hmm. so allow us to handle it mm-hmm. see, let us shoot it down Again. that way they know the doors forever closed see, but if you answer to every objection every hand that agreed. gets raised in the audience agreed. you'll be here all day agreed. fielding calls on situations yeah. that aren't even worth spending time on right. mm-hmm. that, that woman on. might like you she may be lusting after you but it may pass <laughs> right. It could pass. It, in most cases, it does. And so I think we just have to be careful of we should consider what they're saying, hear it. Absolutely. And then, and then, and then you just be, and then every time you're around yes. them, bring your wife around. Yeah. There you go. Don't go to the there party you by yourself. There you go. If you know they're going to be there. All those different scenarios that you can control. Right. Um, and then, you know, involve your wife in the discussion. If you got to go talk to so-and-so, bring your wife along and say, hey, we were, we're talking about you, blah, blah, blah. And that way they know there you, you two are... United at the hip. Mm-hmm. There's no opportunity here. Keep it pushing. Yeah, listen, in, 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 in a perfect until, world. Until 
until that person has proved otherwise, you should trust them. You guys are hitting way too close to home. Reason I brought up that subject because yeah, what happened, Nick? Yeah, my ex. Yeah. It, it, it came down with that. Okay. So okay. with all the Lifetime movies and <laughs> back on Lifetime. Yeah, back oh, on Lifetime. Get us canceled, <laughs> bro. Before we get started. <laughs> Lifetime guys, no they gonna legal up. <laughs> 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 Come on, <laughs> man. You get to change it up. This Stop bashing on Lifetime. By Lifetime. But they turn off my cable provider, <laughs> then my wife gonna be mad at all of us. <laughs> you know who's streaming? Who's streaming? <laughs> I ain't paying for that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so with all that intake she was taking in, what we watch and what we speak, it gives it power, at least in her reality, mm-hmm. and it tried to suit her narrative. So even though initially I wasn't even looking that way, wasn't even trying that way, but in her head I was guilty of infidelity, no matter what. It got to the point where she even called my parents over to meet at the bar at Agua, mm-hmm. talk about it, and my dad, he's... Um, he, he had his past. She got your parents involved? She got my parents involved. Wow. Hey, first it was her mm. friends, and you know how it is. Look at everyone's looking like you need to social distance, dog. I like, wish a nigga to, would. Yeah. <laughs> I wish a nigga would. But my mom was all like, no, that ain't my son. I know my son. And my dad's like, do you have proof? No, I, I drop it. So my dad put me to the side, and my dad was a ladies' man back in the day. He's like, son. Rest in peace, Mr. Hache. Exactly, rest in peace. So he pulled me to the side. He's like, Nate, is that true? You did it? No. So you getting convicted of it, and you didn't do it? Nope. Man, you stupid. You should have done it then. (laughs) Wow. 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 Sorry. Rest in peace, Dad. Uh, uh, yeah. Probably bad feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's bad feedback. Very, very bad feedback. <laughs> bad feedback. But, but I get his point. You should have did well, it. Here's where it got Well, because he's convicted. Because he's already convicted of the no, crime. No, I spent no, time no, in jail for a crime I didn't commit. <laughs> I should have just committed it then. No, and I'm not condoning it, but that's his thought process. Double Jeopardy. You've seen the movie. Double Jeopardy. I can't be guilty twice. Yeah, you can't be charged. But here's where toxicity came because it didn't suit her narrative. So one day at the movie camp, we had an emergency meeting or a staff meeting with all the staff at six in the morning. So I woke up extra early, left, forgot my phone at the house. Oh, Filipino thing texted me. Are you coming to the meeting? So my wife, or my ex-wife wakes up, sees the text message, looks at the phone. But this is work related. She texts you. Yeah, Are you coming come to, to the, the meeting. Exactly. She don't know that, though. Yeah, she don't know. She's over here like, I'm just going to stir up some stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to the meeting. Will you be there? Well, yeah, I'll be there. What are you doing after work? Oh. No, but see, no, oh. no, 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 let me finish, let me finish. Oh. Let us, let's hear the rest of the story. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm getting pissed. <laughs> yes. We gotta so she's the one that's texting back. Like, there is no reason for her to pick up your phone. Yeah, oh, I know, my yeah, I know. God. <laughs> I will. Like, like, woken up, y'all. Mother effer would. Y'all, wait. I hope. I want to hear the rest of this. Yeah, so my ex texts her, what are you doing after the meeting? I'm going home. Okay, you want to come over for dinner? My ex acting like me. So she was like, well, you're married though. Yeah, but my wife will be at work. So you want to come over or what? She's setting you up. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and Who she does said this? And she said, yes, what time? And you that blew the whole room No, wait. I'm out of here. Like, <laughs> no, I don't get this oh, stuff, man. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. she's setting you up for she, the slaughter. Is that what that's what And then she's there. supposed to be your helpmate. No, she clearly was, the trust wasn't there, Ron. No, yeah. clearly the no, trust wasn't there. Sorry, <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Included the trust I, I, in there. Rome, no I, I, I love you, God. That's the second time in my life I heard Rome. Yeah, yes. yeah, he doesn't no, know curse no, people. He Larry, doesn't normally do that. Early, you're like, oh, he's, you know, why I'm getting 20 questions. Is this woman setting you up? Why you think she's an ex-wife? Then? She was not a partner. Yeah. I'm so, she was hey, not a partner. Hey, y'all people. No. So that was me dealing with toxicity. I know you guys have healthy relationships. Facts. And what you guys were back then when you got married as husbands and wives, mm. you guys were not the same. You guys evolved. Evolved, yeah. That relationship could not evolve. Even though I gave the relationship I heard four years. Me. I almost want to shed a tear for you, bro. Yeah, hey, like, it's probably for the better. It's probably for the no, better. No, I was going to just say, it, 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 like, that needed I'm to happen. For you. Yeah. That needed to happen. No, how did you go I, through that? I slept in a separate room for three weeks. There you go. Then one, and then she tried to, like, and the thing is, she never apologized for that. Her way of apology back then was... Let me throw some. Let me throw some taco at you, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You know, hey. and I'm like, I don't want the taco. Fuck that pink taco. Yeah, she keep that. <laughs> keep exactly. Well, she, she's like, well, you know, it's you, contaminated at this yeah. point. Mm-hmm. So that's what I, I would have t- still hit it. 
Hey, I hit it three weeks later. <laughs> Man, <girl. laughs> the the yeah. intimacy would have been gone, but the act and then no. say no, la vie. No, that, that, that's, that's, that's it. That, that would have been that, it for me. That wasn't yeah. the turn because point. it's self sabotage yeah, to self-sabotage. Rome's point. Yeah. And and if there's no trust, and no. we've all been in a position where we didn't trust each other or been trusted. Yeah. Um, that, that's that's that, what that's, hurts. The trust, yeah. the lack of trust. It's a unity. If there is no trust, but but in that. but the fact it, is yeah. though, she was right in that situation. Sam, what? Because the, hear hear me out. Yeah, I gotta hear this. Hear me out. She already felt insecure, right. so she's going to try to make sure she's not crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, the girl took the bait. The girl so took the bait. so when she, Nate left his phone, she tested the waters. And you they guys. did give a positive response to the encounter. We have to be accountable as men. We can't just say it one way and act like we're immune or we're innocent bystanders. Okay. He said, what time do you want to meet up after work? No, he didn't say that. I didn't that. say that. My ex texted her that. I know. Yeah. But, oh, so she was texting your the girl yeah, at work? Right. Not right. you. you like right. Me. Sam. Like She's on his phone. Yeah, the wife was doing this. Sam. Sam. Thank you. Like, no, that's different. Then. That's yeah. what you, Because then she's, but of course the girl likes you. That's why we this podcast over coffee because it was unfiltered, you know, drinks. Yeah, right. that's, that's that hits different. Because that has nothing to do with you. It <laughs> yeah. wasn't like you said, yes, I want to meet yeah. her. No, it was her. No. It was her. She was testing the girl to see if she yeah. liked you. Yeah. That's sabotage. Yeah. Always yeah, that. that yeah. that's that's like out of bounds. Like, girl's intuition. like I'm sorry, that's Sam. I got. I, I, that's I, can't, yeah. Yeah. I can't just let that rest. Like, <laughs> I, I'll say it bold and proud. No man should be sabotaged like that yeah. when he is faithful, mm-hmm. loyal, yeah. and willing to serve his family. This brother cooked for you. <laughs> <laughs> Rome hurt. <laughs> oh, Rome hurt. Yeah, Rome was. And it wasn't oatmeal man cookies. Down. Man down. It was not no oatmeal No oatmeal, oatmeal cookies. Well, Nate was going over there because it, it wasn't oatmeal raisin cookies. It was scripts with white wine sauce and oregano. There's some garlic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, it was. Yeah, that, that's out of bounds. The, yeah. the text a co worker, too. Yeah, that that could mess I'm up sorry, your job and all those yeah. other things. Um, yeah. after, after y'all got divorced, we, did you hit it? Yeah. No, I can't. I can't. Orlando, I can't. You, I can't. Why are you focused on that? <laughs> I'm just curious. You know how you should have asked that because question? Because just like that his, what his father you. said, what yeah. his father said, you should have did it. I'm just curious after you got, no. after you guys split, I will say did this. you finally? I will say this because I was not as um, obedient to the word as I am now. Fair enough. Or Fair enough. at least learned on it. I always believed God existed, but right. I wasn't read in it. Yeah, after I served the papers and initialized it and then we we're going through that petty process yeah i did reach out on instagram dm i reached out even when we were married she at she wanted she requested me to be added her friend i was on facebook i couldn't do it because mm. my ex was right. on that right so she's like i understand so i reached out on dm turns out she don't even live in the state no more so mm. if she were live in the state who knows right okay who fair knows? enough who knows and that's real yeah and that's i real. did reach out that's real Okay. And even Sam, when um, even Sam, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, hold up, hold up, wait, wait. <laughs> come on, Orlando, break. we don't, <laughs> I said it please. Was Sam. I'm not sure where it was going. We're gonna have my Nate dog come out <laughs> yeah, for real, yeah, yeah. Nate. No, oh, this is Nate being Nate. So even when open ass every day, <laughs> <laughs> go to church every day. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Better pray every day. So before I got married, I lived in a. So before I got married, I was living in a detached casita in Rancho Rock. Right. Where Sam Nick, where Sam visited, he's like, oh man, he gave it the nickname, the Honeycomb Hideout. Nate had wow. the uh, yeah. Honeycomb Hideout. Yeah, honeycomb hideout. Yeah, so he would joke with Keisha like, hey, if you get mad at me, throw me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going over to Nate's. I'm going to Nate's. <laughs> Nate had the for, back cave. And for my dad's 70th birthday, Honeycomb Hideout, backyard pool, barbecue, okay. outside pool table, open bar. It still exists. It still exists. You, you still I, got access? I, I, yeah, I still do. Does Pete oh, Herman still have his I, bike? I still <laughs> Does Chuck E. Cheese still smile? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese is trash, by the way. Hey, don't be banging on my oh, Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese, bro. Chuck E. Cheese no, pizza. What's wrong with Chuck E. Cheese? No, first of all, it'd be dirty in there, bro. They don't clean the well, bar. I ain't been there in years. So I ain't been to Chuck E. I don't want to take my niece there. I took Let's your kids there. there. <laughs> what you talking about? Uh-huh. I took they kids there, bro. Be careful what you're saying at the table. I mean, like, well, huh? that they don't got no... Let's get back to Sam going to the Honeycomb Hideout. 